Let's set up your Microsoft Word document according to the 6th edition of the APA Manual. First, click on the Page Layout tab, then select the Margins Option arrow. In the drop-down menu, select Normal to place a 1-inch margin on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right. To set the default APA font, click on the Home tab. Then, on the Font dialog box, Launcher arrow. Under the Font setting, select Times New Roman. Then, under Font Style, select Regular. And under Size, select 12. Finally, be sure to click on the Default setting in the bottom left of the dialog box. Next, click on the Insert tab. Then, select the header option arrow. In the drop-down menu, select the first option, blank. Then in the options block, place a check mark in the different first page box. Next, type the words running head, followed by a colon and a space. Notice that the R is capitalized, but the H is lowercase. Then type a shortened version of your paper's title in all caps. This title should be not longer than 50 characters, including the spaces. After the title, click on the tab key to place your cursor at the far right margin directly in line with the one inch marker. Click on the Insert Ribbon again, and this time, click the Page Number Options arrow. In the drop-down menu, select the Current Position option. The page number 1 will appear. To exit the Page Header area, double-click on the word Header or anywhere in the body of the document. Next, use the Enter key to move your cursor down the page until it is at the number 2 on your vertical margin, or about one-third down the page. Now, click on the Home tab, and in the Alignment Tool section, select Center Alignment. Next, go to the Line Spacing Tool. Click on the Options arrow, and select 2.0, or double spacing from the drop-down menu. Click on Options arrow again, and this time, click Remove Space After Paragraph, if it is visible. Type in the full title of your paper using regular title capitalization, which means you capitalize all the words except prepositions and articles fewer than five letters. Hit the Enter key once to double space, then type your name. Hit Enter again and type in Point Loma Nazarene University. Now click the Insert tab and select Page Break to insert a page break. To create a header for this page, double-click in the header area on the words Type Text. And this will open the header area. Next, type in your shortened title, again using all capital letters. Tap the Tab key to place your cursor at the far right margin. Click the Insert tab again and select the Page Number Option arrow. In the drop-down menu, select Current Position Option. The page number 2 will appear. Now Word will automatically number all the pages of your paper in the right order. To exit the page header area, double-click on the words Header or click anywhere in the body of your document. If your paper requires an abstract, type the word abstract. Next, hit enter one time, then go to the text alignment tool and select left align. In APA, an abstract paragraph is not indented. An abstract paragraph is between 150 and 250 words and the abstract provides a concise summary of your entire paper. After you finish the abstract,
click on the Insert tab and select Page Break. Now you're on the first body page of your paper. Click on the Home tab and select Center Alignment. Then type the full text of your paper again. Be sure to capitalize all major words of your title. Hit Enter one time to double space, then return to the Home tab and this time select Left Alignment to type the body of your paper. To indent your paragraph, hit the Tab key one time. When typing in the text of your paper, do not hit the Enter key at the end of a line. Instead, allow the computer to conduct word wrapping. The computer will automatically wrap lines according to the margins and the line spacing you have set, and it's not necessary to hit Enter or Return until you want to start a new paragraph. At the end of a paragraph, hit Enter one time to double space, then hit the Tab key one time to indent. Now begin typing your next paragraph. Anytime that you use a source in your paper, you must provide an in-text citation to that source, which in APA consists of the author's last name and the year of publication inside parentheses. If the source you're using doesn't identify an author, use the first several words of the source's title. When finished typing the body of your paper, click on the Insert tab and select Page Break again. This will insert a new page of your document for your list of references, which must go on a page by themselves after the body of your paper. Next, go to the Home tab and click on the Center Alignment tool. Return to your document and type in the word References in the middle of the page. Then hit Enter one time. Once again, click on the Home tab and select Left Align to align all of your text to the left. Now type in the information for each source, beginning with the author's last name, followed by a comma, then the initial of the author's first name, followed by a period. Then comes the date of publication, inside parentheses, and followed by a period. Now type the title of the source you got your quotation or your information from. Remember, in APA, the title of a source is not capitalized except for the first word of the title, any proper noun, or the first word after a colon. Following the title of the source, you may need to type a publication title if your article was published inside a magazine, journal, newspaper, or book. When typing the title of a publication, be sure to italicize it. First, highlight the title, then go up to the Home tab and click on the I for the italics tool. Place a comma after this title and continue entering any information needed, including the periodical's volume number and issue number if it's provided, followed by a comma, then the page numbers. Online sources are used frequently today. One of the most common types is the online journal article. For this type of source, simply add the DOI, or the Digital Object Identifier, at the end of the citation. A DOI is a unique number assigned to the online content. If the source you're referencing has not been assigned a DOI, use the home page URL for the online journal, magazine, newsletter, or book that you used for your paper. Be sure to use APA format for the type of source you are citing. These formats can be found starting on page 193 of the APA book, 6th edition. For hanging indentation, highlight the line or lines you wish to indent, then go up to the hanging indent triangle on your top margin. Left click on the triangle and drag it to the half inch mark. To begin your next reference, simply hit the enter key. Be sure to maintain double spacing for all of your sources and in between them. Thank you for watching this video for formatting your paper in APA 6th edition format.